friends welcome this is a case of corneal tear with traumatic cataract let us observe this surgery this is a side port at 9 o'clock and now I am using a 23 gauze Simco cannula for a anterior chamber lavage you can see some milky fluid settled at 6 o'clock is coming out through the Simco cannula and now the antechamber is quite clear and the people is dilating because of adrenaline in the BSS and now this is visco 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose to keep the antechamber formed while I repair the corneal wound now this is a uh, strand looks like vitreous strand uh, there is a general adhesence at 2 o'clock we can see that uh, later more clearly yes in this view we can see the gap at 2 o'clock so the vitreous strands have been removed and now this is the first suture this is a triangular corneal laceration by the beak of a bard so this is the first suture from the apex of the triangular corneal flap and now the knot is 2 1 1 first 2 through then on more through and then on more so this is the first 2 throws and now the threads are pulled and both the threads are pulled towards 5 o'clock in this case and the knot is temporarily locked and now this is the gap this is the dehiscence at 2 o'clock and now this is the 1 2 then 1 and this is again on more through so this is a 2 on on suture to on on knot and now the threads are trimmed close to the knot and now the knot is buried if the knots of corneal sutures are buried the there is no irritation by the knot and the patient becomes very comfortable this is the second bite it goes through the first bite and because this there's a laceration has to be repaired in this way and again this is two on on knot this is two and then this is on and this is another one and now the these are trimmed close to the knot and the knot is buried in this case as I tried to bury the knot the it was easy to do sometimes we cannot bury the knot in one direction then we have to come to the other direction here I am putting two bites at on go 
then after putting these two bytes this is the second byte here and now the threads are pulled and then this is the one byte this is one knot same principle two throws then on throw and then on more throw so we can say this is two on on not yes it is done now this is the threads are trimmed close to the knot now as I try to bury the knot is it gets buried easily this is two throws this is on mode throw and on mode throw was put but it has not been shown and now as I try to bury the knot inferiorly it doesn't get buried in that direction so I pull the knot superiorly and in superior aspect it gets buried easily. Now this is the last suture. Bytes are taken, thread is pulled and now not two throws then on throw as it is done now the threads are trimmed very close to the knot and then the knot is buried. Yes, it is done. So suturing is complete and now antechamber lavage is done because we did put visco in the anterior chamber and that must be removed very nicely. We can see a gap at 2 o'clock it is because of the general adhesence there and probably vitreous strand has come out through this gap anteriorly. We have to do a second surgery for this patient after about three weeks but if the lens matter gets fluffy and fills off the anterior chamber then we may have to take the surgery early. This is moxifloxacin it is being used to hydrate cornea on other side of the stab wound the moxifloxacin is forming the anterior chamber as well as it is hydrating the corneal stroma and making the sideboard watertight. So this is done. This is how we can repair corneal wounds. The wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention.